Hi, this is Todd, and I want to provide a short video on the closed container technique. Uh, we've already provided a video on the justification of this, and and uh, for some of the uh, new people who are raising inter swallowtails, I just want to address some of their concerns. Um, it is now in the morning, and as you can see, the caterpillar has chewed on some of the Lomatium graviolin stalks, and there's some fracks in here. So what we want to do is what we call the morning process. Um, grabbing the caterpillar is generally not too risky of a thing. Um, I'm trying to coordinate uh, video cam, digicam with my right hand, and grab the caterpillar with the left. Uh, usually, I just grab it with two hands. But see, now I've got the caterpillar in my hand, and basically, I just place them down, take the frass and the stock that I just put in last night, throw it in the garbage, put in two fresh stocks she'll feed on during the day. They don't need much more food than that. Sometimes one will just do. Just one will do. Come over here and grab the caterpillar. Um, the most vulnerable part on this little guy are the pro legs. If I can zoom in here. Caterpillar has three sets of legs, has six legs, and five pro legs. And those pro legs tend to grab on. So he's grabbed onto my finger right now. And so when you grab the caterpillar with your fingers, you just want to be gently uh, trying to remove the caterpillar's pro legs from the plant that he's on is the only concern. So they can take a little bit of handling. You don't need to worry about smashing the caterpillar. Place the caterpillar back in the container and then put the lid on. Put the lid on securely, I mean. <laughs> okay, thanks.